Hi everybody! Welcome to our first learning video regarding the nanoelan. Today we will have a look at the bioplastics importance. First question is why we hear uh, all the terms like bio, eco, sustainable all the time. Let me explain you. Long time ago the planet Earth used to be extremely hot. Due to several phenomena, uh, the temperature decreased and the plants could have lived on this planet. But uh, the tectonic, fo tectonic folding caused that uh, they turned uh, under the surface and uh, became the fossil resources like uh, the oil, gas and coal. Uh, if we use all the fossil resources, it uh, means that the temperature will increase again and we won't be able to live on this planet anymore. First of all, have a look at the sustainability. Sustainable development is based on the environmental, social and economic pillars. They need to be in the balance. One of them can't uh, be over another. Uh, but past and present development was based uh, mainly on the economic growth. Therefore, the sustainability is usually connected with the uh, social and environmental pillars. Now we will have a look at the principles uh, that needs to be uh, fulfilled to help the environment. Uh, it is called the principles of free air, reduce, reuse, recycle. Uh, it is part of the zero waste hierarchy. The first part is the waste avoidance. We have to rethink and redesign the objects to reduce the waste. Uh, after uh, using the objects, we need to reuse them, don't use the disposable goods, etc. Uh, when it comes into the waste management, the second part of the hierarchy, uh, the most preferable option is recycling to maintain the polymer matrix. Uh, if it, it, it can be recycled, the best option is the composting to return the nutrients into the soil. Uh, then it could be the recovery uh, material or chemical, uh, but uh, in the end it uh, should be landfilled or incinerated, which is the least preferred option. The zero waste hierarchy is connected with the circular economy principle. It means that uh, when we get new materials, we produce some uh, filament, uh, we uh, 3D print it, we use the objects, and after reusing of the object, it can turn into the waste. But uh, we can throw it away, uh, it needs to be recycled. Uh, to fulfill this uh, circular economy principle. It, uh, it should be recycled many times, uh, as many times as we can. And after losing all the properties, it can be uh, turned into the waste, uh, the most preferable on the compost, but uh, other ways are in the landfill or by incineration. Uh, other ways how to help the environment should be by minimizing the fossil resources. It means that we need to create materials from renewable resources. It means to uh, use bioplastics and biopolymers. Biopolymer is naturally occurred in the environment, therefore it is 100% biodegradable. Bioplastic is uh, processed by some technology, therefore it is not uh, biodegradable. Uh, if we have a look at uh, the picture, we can see that the best group of these materials is uh, top right. A uh, little bit worse group uh, is top left because uh, it helps to minimize the fossil resources but uh, they can't be degraded uh, in the compost. Uh, because we need to return the nature what we have taken from that and uh, it is not fulfilled. Uh, if we uh, have a look at the bottom section, uh, there is uh, the material that uh, creates additional carbon and it uh, in increases the uh, greenhouse effect. And the worst uh, group is uh, bottom left. These materials are mechanically recycled and in future we hope that they will be also chemically recycled. 
There were a few stages of um, development of biomaterials. The first stage was oxobioplastics that just created a huge problem with the microplastics and also the problem was that uh, they can't be properly recycled because they uh, lose their properties already while used. Uh, another stage was the PLA, which is 100% bio-based and also biodegradable, but only in the conditions of the industrial compost. But the solution is called the non-island, uh, which is perfect uh, in the way the, it fits to the circular economy principles, because it is not only bio-based, but it can be also uh, reused many times, recycled many times, and after it can be biodegraded, not only in industrial compost, but also in conditions of the electric composter and also in uh, home compost. What are the solutions that uh, every one of us needs to do? Uh, it is think before you print, also use non oil and uh, follow the zero waste hierarchy. For more information you can have a look at the uh, filamentumnonoiland.com. If you have some questions or comments, feel free to write us on help desk or on social media. We will look forward to uh, answer questions and to discuss with you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.